Ja. Ja. <lacht> <lacht> Yeah, I gotta keep this shit. Well, there we go, that message last time, I don't know. People would be able to hear that if they're already on the live stream. Just another shit podcast! Can we have uh, guest speakers come up? Uh, I don't think we're allowed to have more than three people up here. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, that, yeah. Do you know the one I couldn't believe was um, we went to Manchester and you know the exact stand I'm talking about, the scaffolding one, man. Yeah. That yeah. is insane, bro. I like that right up about Cade, got bitten the head by a python. Yeah. <laughs> that was so good. Well, his parents are here, man. His dad's an absolute weapon. Yeah, yeah oh, man, I could imagine, eh? We're definitely, we're definitely, uh, we're definitely bringing that up. Are we doing the 1 to 17s? Nah, can't try that. Yeah, I reckon run through that. Yeah. Because we want to do sponsors as well. Give the sponsors a shout out. Probably. Oh, I don't know the. A what? I don't know any of our sponsors. No. <laughs> oh, it's on, it's, the on the, it's on the sheet. You did. Shout out the chatty. It closed last year. Hello, hello, hello. Testing. One, two, three. First names. What? What's fucking up? But that won't happen. It'll be, it'll be four for a try, and then if they keep the goal, it's two. Good day to wear a uh, footy jersey, mate. 27 degrees. Sweating my ringer out right now. Right, the hardest part's going to be with the spur. Yeah, mate. Like... Nah, we'll be right. Fuck, that's funny when that bloke set through. Yeah, that was Joel. <laughs> that was Joel. Was so funny. <laughs> He's a funny bloke. Oh, man. He usually does the commentary, so I got a big boost to feel. Is he really? Yeah, he usually does it. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't think phenomenal. He'd actually know what he was he, Yeah, he's good. He's a ref. Oh, is he? Yeah, yeah. Oh. <laughs> 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 Gaffy goes, don't look so nervous. Relax. <laughs> <laughs> Just don't tell us what people are saying in the comments, it'll be sweet. Have you got the sponsors on yours? Nah. 
भाई जो जो Hey Joe I need to know the sponsors Sponsors Bring it up here Oh I'm not going to Travel talk I think vibe vibe one of them Yeah There's a few others there. <laughs> What's the pub? Oh, Logan's company sponsors us. Uh, Sam Clue Constructions. Shout out to Logan. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Big Sam invented his own. Surely he can be. Your old housemates are shout out. I was like, oh, 100%. Fuck, what if I need to piss halfway through? Yeah. That's definitely going to happen. <laughs> Boo. I was telling the boys before, I got, um, oh, he sent me a photo of the sponsors. Um, so, the last time we played here, me and Willow got sent off for punching on. But me and Chris Williams got sent off for punching oh, on. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Good stuff. There's probably some locals that they're like, oh, I don't know that bloke. <laughs> Good rugby league stock, mate. <laughs> Mate, it's your team. I'm, I'm across my team. Yeah, you, you're talking about one. Well, I actually play for the fucking team. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I played one game, mate. I'm well, pretty much a starter. He sent a photo of the hoist starting line up. Yeah. yeah. It's going to be a long 80 minutes. Uh, oh, shit. Commentating. That's our first. That's our first mistake. Yep. There'll be many more of those during, uh, throughout the game. Uh, but no, it's a great day for rugby league here, mate. Um, very excited. Up the hoist. Up the wires. They couldn't have actually picked probably two better people, actually. Oh, I mean, hoist favourite son and Warriors most hated bloke. Uh, I think Warriors and hoist most hated. <laughs> Yeah. Bit of, bit of, you had a target on your back throughout the whole... Bit of omenry this morning with the uh, 
actual Warriors getting up, so good signs early for the uh, West Warriors. Can the, the Wallabies start playing at 3.30 as well? No, we don't talk about Union here, mate. <laughs> 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 so we do about the gentleman's sport, rugby league. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> West Warriors are uh, led by their inspirational captain, Chris Watkins. And uh, for the Warriors, we've got fullback Blake Nahu, winger uh, Henry Nichols, Dan Munt, Tommy Robinson in the centres as well. We've got Devin Wheatman on the other wing, Pete Henshaw and uh, Jack Payne in the halves, Louis Robinson and Dom Stock up front, uh, Neil Thorman at hooker, Mitch Cares Nelson and Mitchie Large in the second row, Chris Watkins, the captain, is Locke, Finn Langdale, Sam Griffiths, Josh Wall, and Ben Yerby is uh, 80 fan. It's off, mate. Beautiful kicker. I'd like to say I know a single. Oh, early mistake from the hoist here. Unforced error. We don't like those. The uh, West Warriors fans are out in force here. You can probably hear them over the microphone. Hoist fans a little bit quiet at this stage. <laughs> Jack Payne with the ball, off to Dan Munt, good tackle. Louis Robinson with the hit up, ah, oh, good shot. A little bit high that one. Louis Robinson known to headbutt walls pre-game. Yeah, Jimmy's left his glasses at home, folks. Uh, folks, you haven't been home, mate. Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Strong start from the Warriors. Here's Dom Stock with a hit up. Oh, ball out the back. Tommy Robinson. Here's Louie again. Down the back, bit of a loose pass. What's that obstruction? There's a there's a hoist player down. Yeah, hoist player down the back. right. So who doesn't get enough credit in the, um, the this rugby league league is the ref. Yeah. The one behind, mate. It's like, he's a stocky young man. I've had this ref before, mate, and he does not cop any crap. As in the, the stocky young bloke or the one, the main ref? Well, the stocky bloke, I think he's the touch judge, mate. Uh... Oh, mate, yeah. <laughs> 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 Well, I've seen that touch, uh, touch ref. Mate, he's done, like, he's done a strong 80 minutes before. Yeah, no, he's a good ref, mate. Oh, yeah. Kind of the hoist, going a few meters there. This is where we work. This is where we work. So far this season, it's uh, I think it's two one to the Warriors. Last time they played, it was twelve six to hoist. Great game of football. 
Oh, good shot. Good shot from Mitchie Large. Good country stock, that bloke. <laughs> Great shot. He told me he was going to foul some people today. I heard he grew up on tank water and prime Aussie beef. With Blake Nahu, he'll be dangerous today. I think that was the game plan the last time the boys played, is they tried to shut down Jack Payne in the fullback. Yeah, they made him tackle, mate, but, uh, you know, Jack Payne doesn't back down. He's an animal and he's also very handsome. Yeah, let's, talk about, let's talk about Jack Payne. I could talk about Jack Payne all day. Well, I mean, I don't know, but I would definitely let him date my daughter, put it that way. Uh. <laughs> uh, mistake there from uh, Captain Chris Watkins. A rare one from him. I've got another voice player down. A little like, bit of argy bargy in the middle of the field there. Tensions are high. Mistakes are high. They are, mate. They're just feeling each other out at the start of the game, you know, they'll get in the swing of it. It'll be a tough one to lose. Harry Wecker and Cade Breen, mate. Building different, mate. Hope machines are there. it will be a scrum, 35 out. Good attacking position for the hoist. I think we'll just leave the rugby league chat to you and I'll just... I also don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> Jared Warren showing his organisational skills again. Let's talk about that bloke, Jared Warren. Yeah, probably don't leave any small animals around. He might eat them. Shame he's lost a bit of spine these past down few years. Oh, wow. Yeah. Great run, he's doing my bad eyesight, I can't see who the hell it is. It's number 15, that's uh, Jai Previtt. Out the back. Oh, a good bit of D there. Is Cade Breen. I've heard he was once bit on the head by a python. Unlucky for that python. I know. Good chat. <laughs> <laughs> good from you. Yeah, good from you, mate. Oh, that's a nice ball. Good bit of D. I think he's held up. That's a great ball from the hooker. Who's the hooker? Tom, Tom Condon. That's a great ball. I can see that from here, mate. That makes one of us. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, this is a, a man of sport land, uh, as you can tell with physical contact, but would these, be, these blokes be considered men in Bosnia? I think they would, mate. Would they jump off that bridge? No, they would jump off the Mossad bridge, mate, just like you and me. Yeah. yeah. It's tough. Yeah, it's tough. Someone's gonna do it. Yeah, someone does have to do it, mate. Hopefully a lot. Rick Kalguri coming onto the field. Yeah, Kalajuri, mate. I said that wrong, Kalajuri. <laughs> I said it wrong too as well. I've had to play for four years. Sorry, Rick. Enjoyed the change of hairstyle from Rick Caligari. Yeah, it does look good. He's easy to spot, that's for sure. Oh, mate. The hornet's nest. <laughs> <laughs> also, shout out to Rick for uh, making this setup possible. Yes, the live stream does go down to Rick. 
bit of brawn about him, but a bit of brain about him too, actually. Yeah, not much brain on this field though. Plenty of brawn. Here's Dom Stock. Probably the biggest man on the field, also the scariest. Mitchie Large. Here goes Louie again. Real arm wrestle at the moment, hey Jim? Copping a bit of abuse from the crowd at the moment. Uh, yeah, we don't like Lou figured up in the commentary box. He's on the field, mate. Yeah. Uh, played second grade for three games and claims he's a West Warriors legend. Can you imagine playing second grade and you're chirping at the commentators, mate? Oh, mate. Thanks, especially sort of bike. It definitely does. <laughs> Just had a message actually from Nick Sanford, um, Hoist the Mortal. Oh, young what's Nick. Your, what's your fondest memory of Nick Sanford? Uh, probably when he was bawling his eyes out on Sale Turkey. That was, that, was, that was a great time. That was, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Shout out to Nick. Yeah. Watching for a fine off Queensland. Great shot there from Dom Stock. That was a ripper shot. The boys are up for it. He can play Cade. He's yeah. tough as nails, that bloke. They bred, bred him tough up there in uh, the top of Queensland, mate. Beach, born and Kate's parents have actually made the trip up. Probably to watch a loss. Up the wires. <laughs> <laughs> well, I saw a bit of France as well. Another yeah. loss. <laughs> Here goes Chris Watkins. Solid as ever. Captain, really? Yeah, he's a captain, mate. Inspirational, I'd, I'd say, is the way I'd describe him. Oh, no. <laughs> Thanks for that uh, kind message, Nick Sanford. Appreciate it. Uh, it's probably not uh, appropriate for this live stream. Bit of rugby league, Yeah, bit of rugby league. Is Jack Payne out the back to Nahu? Good run. He's a dangerous man, that bloke. Head of hair. Head of hair with Jack Payne. Here's Big Louie Robinson. Yeah. There goes me phone. Warriors close to the try line here to the winger. So Devin Wheatman. Stopped a couple of metres from the try line. First season with the Wars. Must have been a little knock on in the play the ball there, I think. Bit of early pressure for both teams here though. Yeah, real arm wrestle, mate. Yeah. No one's looking like cracking though. Good to see an even contest. You'd hate to see a whitewash. Yeah. And the hoist, obviously. Yeah, I mean. They've had a tough couple of years, the hoist, but they've come back, made some good signings. Lost yeah, a lot absolutely. of useless blokes as well. <laughs> it's Harry Wecker. Doesn't do much. K Breen usually does always talking for him. Can break dance though. Can break dance. I played a bit for the Warriors, and I've got to ask, it's been on my mind for a few years now. Did you know about both teams before you joined? Or no, you just mate. just decided to go with the Kiwi team? I was actually uh, on a snowboarding trip on the piss, and we did a run it straight, and uh, this bloke just asked me to come play, so I decided to play, mate. Haven't looked back? Uh, have not looked back. But when you play... Two meniscus is down, and I'm living it up, mate. It's great stuff. <laughs> Do you know what you would have made? You'd be a great stereotypical PE teacher. 
Yeah, mate, it could have been so. I used to play against Stuffy Stone, but I did my knee, mate, so. Uh, you know. <laughs> could have been anything. <laughs> could have been anything. Is Kay Breen. Hard, very hard man to take down. Speaking from experience? Or? Yeah, he folded me. This is a Blaze Lomax. That is a very rugby league name if ever I've heard one. Thick neck. Thick neck I think he mind. has an uncle or his dad play for the Raiders. Mate, actually, I've got a bit of a fact here. Yeah. Joey Lomax. Joey John, Lomax. Johnny Lomax. That's the one. Yeah, yeah. I was just testing you, making sure you're up to date. Yeah, man, I know my rugby league. He's here today. He's actually here today in the crowd. Well, that's embarrassing for us. <laughs> <laughs> Apologies to uh, Johnny. Kate again. He's getting plenty of ball. You buy a full 80 too. This is, uh, who's that? Is that Wecker? No, it's uh, Reese Dixon. Reese Dixon, yeah. Bit about the bloke there. Used to be, Morrissey, uh, good step. He's dangerous, this bloke, this halfback. Joe Roberts, I think. Yeah, former, under, former Canberra Raiders under 20. Great defence from the Warriors. Couple of metres from the side line. Good little kick, are they there? Oh, that's, a, that's a try to the hoist. That's uh, Tavita, is it Tavita Ruin? No, he's on the other side. That's Tom West. Tom West, mate. That was a great little kick there from the 5'8", uh, Joe Roberts. I think 75% of the hoist chat is Facebook or Messenger chat is literally about Tom West and his affinity for the fairer sex. It is genuine, yeah, yeah. Lots of locks, tall, rig. Yeah, my kind of guy. Yeah. Yeah, nice. Well, He's just got a, it's got a ripper of a try. Maybe after the game, mate. Apparently I'll be seeing actually a lot of the Warriors later tonight um, at a certain household which the address will go unnamed. Oh, that'd be your house, wouldn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I heard there's a party at Art. Uh, no, I'm not going to say it. <laughs> What's that, Portland scale place? <laughs> Shh. That's 4-0 uh, now to the hoist as well, for those watching. Tough kick from the sideline. Using your excellent 2020 eye vision. I've lost my phone again. Who's taking the kick here, can you see? Oh, I'm pretty sure that's the number six. That'd be... Joe, Joe Roberts. Joe Roberts. Yeah. Joe Roberts, yeah. How far? His no, housemates like, tell me he's got an issue. How defense, long right? into the game? 17. Really bad. Unsuccessful conversion there. Tough kick though. Very tough kick. You would have slotted that with a proper meniscus probably. Yeah, I think so, mate. I think so. So is this referee's had a few seasons, mate? Yeah, he's, he's seen some winters that bloke. He's old as Methuselah. Jeez, they've actually got they've actually got a few refs out, out and about today. I think they're the in-goal refs. Oh! That kick's gone dead on the full. Bit of controversy. Uh, the Waz fans yelling that he's touched it. I tend to agree with them. <laughs> as well. Normally what you guys fought for the refs what, 300 or so before a game? Yeah, they're on our parallel, mate. <laughs> Kimbo's got a lot of cash. Same as Jack Payne. Also, shout out to Kimbo Parkinson, the coach of the Warriors. We should give the, the coaches a bit of a rev. We've got Jared Warren, 6 foot 6, no spine. Vinny Spur. Vinny Spur was actually on... Let me fact check this. I don't know if you've heard this one about Harry Vinny. Wecker. The, that's Joel Strasser. Vince K. Breen again up the middle. He appeared in Rugby League 3 on PS3. You're kidding. That is a fun fact. That is a fun fact. 
There goes Charlie Beatty. It's Morrissey. Good ball. Joe Roberts. Gonna take him over the sideline. If that's not out, I'm not here. Yeah, it is. That's out. Is Tommy Robinson. Oh, good tackle there. Driving him back. I think he might be back in the end goal there. That was a great bit of defence from the Hoys. Got right under him there. Hoys fans are fired up, all five of them. <laughs> we're a global, we're a global uh, club, mate. Shout out to everyone back in Australia and uh, Aotearoa watching on. Speaking of the old boys, mate, you've played with a few. Who would be your top three that you've played with? Well, I mean, Jared Bassett, the new London Broncos superstar. Uh, no, no, that, was, that, no, that one wasn't a try. Is K Breen cutting me back? Probably Kyron David would be up there, mate. Shout out to Kyron, watching on from Perth, I believe. In the Australian team, you said Nathan Mann. Nathan Mann. Yeah, he was a good player, mate. That was Bozza, Byron Creighton. Dano here? Yeah, uh, old Mitchy Wilson. Oh, flip. Yep. Oh, she's playing a darts comp with him. That's, that's it, really. That's Story for another day, mate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We're not talking about darts today, but... Uh, Is Strasser. Good run. Jack Payne with a good tackle. I think he's called... Is he called a strip? God, I need to go to the toilet. Not often Jack Payne does uh, doesn't wrong, mate. He tackles the house down, young Jack Payne. Uh, he can crochet his way to anything. Also speaks French. Out the bats, Morrissey to Roberts. Runs himself. Oh, he's crafty, this bloke. It's a good bit of footwork there. Straight into uh, Louis Robinson. Wecker only knows one way, mate, and that's forward. Oh, has Wecker got a... He's got, he's got the tape on, mate, yep. Charlie Beatty. Will stab behind. He's got the ball there. It's Nichols. Good pick up. Got a bit of work to do here, the Waz. Is Dan Munt, fastest man on the field, I would say. Also missing his front tooth. Makes him look like a hillbilly. <laughs> Careful, mate. I grew up in a country town, right? <laughs> Thing I love about rugby league, mate, is obviously um, in terms of ships, championships are important. But you know what else is important? Making friends. I was going to say mateships. Same thing, mate. We're on yeah, the same. We're on the same page, so mate. We're lose, mate. Obviously, we're going to be fine after this. I spent four years at the Wires, and I'm yet to make a mate. So. <laughs> <laughs> well, out loose, ball. loose pass there. Yep. Yeah. How long is the footy field? Uh, about 100 metres, mate. Cool. You saying bold each other. Good to know that our co-commentator doesn't know how long a football field is. You really have no friends at the Waz. Yeah, I'm getting abused here by the Waz faithful. No Ooh, respect. Just gassing them up at every turn. Yeah. That, that is. Actually, no, I'll tell you that, but I've just travelled with you and every single time I gas you up, you just brought me back down to planet Earth. That's my... My go to, mate. Uh, Rowan Napoli, the spiritual leader of uh, the hoists on the field, about to take a run. No, he's the decoy. Good shot there from Jack Payne. 
I think he might have whispered something in French in his ear then. Good tackle again there. The bravery of the hoist, mate. Rowan Napoli's actually carrying a calf injury at the moment. Oh, I mean, I think that was a little bit of a knock on there. It's got to be a loose ball, yep. Waz are onto it. Good, good bit of RD there from the Waz. The hoist are definitely applying a lot of pressure, though. It's definitely more exhausting defending, surely. Yeah, mate, tackles are hard. Wouldn't know. Well, I don't make many either in the centres. I don't think I tackle life, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Usually when we play the hoist, I spend my time avoiding Rowan. Uh, That's the same at kick-ons as well. Yep. <laughs> Can concur. I remember you at, uh, at my house, actually. Outside, got oh, yeah, that's, a, right. that's a story for another day, mate. <laughs> uh. Here's Tommy Robinson with the hit up. Solid as ever. Finn Langdale on the field. It's Joshy Wall with the hit up. There's a big bench for the Wars today. A couple of big units. He goes Finn. Oh, that is a great shot. Who was that? That was a great shot. Greg Lingard. He's folded old Chris O. Chris will get up, mate. He's tough as nails, but that was a great shot. I mean, from here, it looked a bit high. I reckon that might be a yellow, uh, if you ask my biased, wise opinion. So, so those uh, commenting about the zoom in on the camera, unfortunately we can't. We don't have the uh, we don't have the technology for that. Uh, all, the brain cells. all the brain cells, yes. Um, no. We've actually been getting this wrong the whole time, uh, and that's my fault. The number eleven uh, is actually not Lebron, it's Rob Cooper. Nah, I think they've mixed their jerseys up just to confuse me and you, mate. Okay. So, that is not the half time siren either. Rob Cooper got stitched up on the sideline without any anaesthetic. He's uh, tough as they, they breed him tough. Oh, right? tough as they come, mate. Yeah. As a shout out to uh, Kelvin Emerson, who I also watched get staples on his face playing for the Wars and come back onto the field. Oh, good rise. Oh, he's lost the ball there, 17. It's a good shot from the hoist. Bit of banner between the fans, we'd love to see it. Paul Quill, Paul Quill loud as ever. How's he played a game on? Paul Quill, yeah, he did play a game on the wing, on the sting, mate. He scored a try, actually. Oh, mate, him and me have something come. Well, actually, no, I didn't score a try. No, mate. But dick of the day. And I can't scale a beer. Neither can I. Yeah. Oh, mate, we've all seen footage. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Another, another run in with your infamous friend, Mr. Rowan Napoli, the Italian stallion. Yeah, he's got the wood over me at the moment, uh, young Rowan. What, you think you can get it that back? No. This <laughs> 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 is uh, Tavita Ruin. I actually went to school with Tavita. He's a couple of years below me. He's a uh, good Cronulla stock. De La Salle boy. Here's Wecker again. Okay, Breen, the one two punch, Wecker and Breen. That 
that kick's gone absolutely nowhere. A lot of moss about that one. Here's Finn Langdale. Good run from Finn. Here he goes. Finn actually asked me to shout out his mates, Dave O'Bain and uh, Mark Lundy. So shout out to those boys. Here's Nichols. Good run. Something's happened here. I wasn't really watching, so I missed it. There's a very enthusiastic West Warriors fan who I've never seen before down there, just singing some songs. Turns out he's a local British man who someone gave a jersey. Yes. <laughs> Got 10 in the bin for that one, mate. Also lost the fight. <laughs> have you won much? Have you won much? It seems like... No. <laughs> no, I have not, mate. That's why I'm in the grandstand. <laughs> what's the... What's the... <laughs> like for you, uh, Blake, mate. Blake Nahu. He's a gun, mate. Absolute weapon. They've kept him quiet today, but... Yeah, he's a good player. Is Jack Payne. Good nudge. Still a real arm wrestle at the moment, though. Joel Strasser, good run. Wrapped up by Joshy Wall, I believe. Warriors veteran. Oh, good strong rugby league club, the North Devils. You're telling me, mate, honestly. Where are they based? Ah, uh, north somewhere. <laughs> you get to the Alpha Tower, you've got to take I, I think they're from Brizzy. Oh, good kick. Tom Condon away. <laughs> They've wrapped them up there, the Wars, but that was a great bit of attack and play from the Hoys. The halves for the Hoys are looking bloody dangerous, I'll tell you that much. If you tell me what positions the, uh, the halfbacks are, mate, I'll tell you who they are. Uh, well, I believe it's uh, seven and six, mate, usually in the rugby league field. Uh, Luke Morrissey and Joe Roberts. So Joe Roberts, obviously, a Canberra Rose top four. Luke Morrissey, first of the three picked magpies to play for the club this year. Uh, We're also not reading this off a sheet at all. No, no. Wait, this is in our brains. Yeah, this is, uh, this is just our... Oh, that's high. We don't like that. Yeah. Easy let off there for the Waz after a lot of defence. Is that Blaze Lomax with the high one? What's that, mate? Blaze Lomax with the high. You expect to see it in a West, um, you know, Aussie v Kiwi rivalry game? Oh, yeah, mate. There's, uh, there's, there's plenty of uh, aggression out there. When you, when you played for the, um, the big day out, when you played for the Australian team, did you have a target on your back? Again, because like, the Warriors, obviously, a lot of them would play for the Kiwi team. Uh, yes, I did, mate. Yes. It didn't end well for me. They put me on in the front row, which was a terrible decision. Mate, you've made a great body transformation. No, oh, thank you. <laughs> London will do that to you, mate. Yeah, what's that diet called again? <laughs> I wouldn't recommend it. Good kick for touch there from Jack Payne. Sammy Griffiths out the field now. Sammy actually used to be a halfback, believe it or not, despite his size. Good run there from Chris Watkins. Sammy again, backing it up. He's fit as a fiddle, this bloke. Jack will do it all himself. He's got a good fend on him, Jack. A hoist bloke's fallen over. No one's touched him. I don't know what's happened there. Mate, it's 
Find a guy out there who you could. Dan Munt with the ball, he's dangerous in some space. Here he goes. Good tackle there out there though. Tom West. He goes Payne to Joshy Wall. I got him wrapped up pretty well. Mitchy Large. Mitchy Large. Oh, they've held him up. Bit of a wild pass there out to Sammy Griffiths. He's throwing the long ball. Oh, he's dropped that one. Nichols out there on the wing. A bit flustered there, the Waz. I think they need to settle it down a little bit. There's uh, Jared Bassett walking past, the uh, Broncos superstar. Peacocking himself around the ground with his chest out. Do we know how far we are from half time? Because I really need to use the loo. Good line speed here from the Waz. You tell them, Paul Quill. Good run there from Kay Breen. It's Morrissey. Good little nudge. Down to uh, Wheatman. Oh, a little goosey. Beats one. Good tackle. Tommy Robinson, good contact there. The D's been really good today, to be honest, I think. Jimmy, if you'd like to speak at some time, that'd be great. Jimmy's mic's not working, so you're gonna have to put up with me for a little bit, guys. Oh, good hands, great hands. He goes Devin down the sideline. Jack Payne to Neil Thorman. Watto with a little nudge. There's a good chase on this. Oh, it's over the sideline. Good player there from the Waz. It's probably their best set yet, I'd say. Shout out to Nathan Mann, letting me know my mic's not working. We've had to listen to a biased uh, commentator, so we're sharing the mic now. Listening to a bloke, Liam Ryan, who's got a face for radio. They got a D up here, the Waz. You got to keep the uh, hit the hoist down here. Try before half time would be bloody lovely, I tell you. There's, uh, is that Harry Wecker? Always making a charge down, a bit of uh, area to gain here. Nice ball to Charlie. Nice hit and spin there. Warriors players smothering him into bits. Luscious locks Kate Breen, gets forced back a couple of metres there with the offload. Bit of a push and shove, the boys is getting into it a bit. Tensions are high. 
More of it pushing sharp. Mitchie Large there, he went back down. Good country stock, that bloke. Bit of a uh, forced error there, good D from the Waz. For you Waz fans, I don't know if you can hear him, but Paul Quill is absolutely losing his mind on the sideline. It's great to see. Neil, that's a Finn. I think Pete Henshaw's been injured. That's why. Uh, that's why Finn's playing out there at five eight. Sammy Griffiths up the middle. Been some great defence today, mate. Honestly, it's been uh, top notch. Here goes Robinson. He only knows one way. Oh, and a penalty. Great work, Louis. I wonder if they take the two here, mate. Yeah, I was just thinking the exact same. Believe it or not, I actually know that part about rugby league. I mean, it's still only 4 0 up with the hoists. I can hardly hear myself think with these Warriors fans. I'll give, it, give them credit where credit's due. Out the back, here's Finn. Off to Mitch Cairns Nelson of That's My Brother fame. Good short ball to Watto. Oh, great D. Who was that? That was a great tackle. I can't see her. I can see the front of him. <laughs> Louis. Here goes Jack. Off to Finn. Finn's played well since he's come on. Plenty of heart. The Stormin. The Payne. Good ball to Mitchie Cairns Nelson. Oh, long ball. They've got that one covered, the hoist. He's over the touchline, too. Good deep. Absolutely great defense. I don't know if you saw Jack Payne get held across by Greg Lingard. Number 12, mate. Got to be a penalty in that. Must have missed that one, mate. Mate, eyes up, <laughs> eyes up footy on the right over here. <laughs> mate, take, the, take the shades off, mate. You might see a thing or two. Mate, I'm looking straight in the sun. Makes sense. You've got a bit of a moon face. Opposites attract. We're talking about the game, mate. Sorry, 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 sorry. sorry. <laughs> a game I don't understand. Great tackle, great pressure from the Warriors there. Hoist on the 10. Straight up to Harry Wecker there. Yeah, my commentator and co here has just got to go for a toilet break, even though half time's in two minutes. Child's bladder. Hoist charging up the middle. Sun's directly in the eyes. Out on the halfway line here. Straight to Blaze Lomax. Nice run, but again covered by three Warriors players that put some good pressure. Great offload there. Great offload. High tackle. High tackle. This ref's got his eyes painted on or something. Yeah, nice. Play it down, still yet to see who it is, but looking all good, getting up. Wecker. Shout out to the Wecker fans out there. He's putting in a hell of a shift. They breed them different up north. Used to live with two Mackay boys myself. I learned a lot about culture. It was uh, an interesting time. Queensland do uh, breed them different. Something in the Bundy Rum, I think. 
But credit to you boys watching that home. Great ball out there. Keeps hold of it. Greg goes right. Trying to charge through. Great charge. Just short of the line. Not biased at all, but come on the hoist. Nice kick out to Luke. Bit of a fake here. Oh. Shoulder of the head there for Luke, but he's up and about. Good on him. Need a sip of beer, BRB. Held up just short of the line there. Hoist are putting together some great plays, some great offloads, but the Warriors' defence is still the same. Pretty sure I've been folded in half by now. Or 70 kilos of me. Still that drank Nathan Mann one time though. Still that drank Nathan Mann, yep. I'm beating, I beat the hoist on the, off the field. Yeah, exactly right. Beat uh, the infamous Dana O'Hare, worst wrestler in the world in a wrestle. I don't know any of the Warriors players, but number 12 goes straight through on the wing. Oh, thank God for that, Liam. Commentate the Warriors, but I got no one. Oh, I feel way better after that. Dom Stock taking a hit up. I'm going to go before half time. Jimmy's just tripped, knocked all the beers over. Tommy Robinson. Oh, good contact there. Has there been another try? No. Neil Thorman with the kick, ex scholars player. Oh, great kick. Is that going to find touch? I think it is. It's almost a 40 20. Am I? I think that's a 40 20. Great nudge from Neil Thorman. Absolutely beautiful. Wise got the ball back. Jack Payne, out the back to Blake Nahu. Inside of Dom Stock, good run. Good D there, he's a hard man to bring down, big Dom. Jack Payne will go himself. Sammy Griffiths to Finn, caught with the ball. They're gonna try to strip it, they have. The hoist has stripped it. I think that's Morrissey that stripped that one. Blaze Lomax with the hit up. It's uh, Charlie Beatty, I believe. James King, apparently the only Englishman in the hoist team today. Is Beatty again? Good run. Morrissey with a kick. Oh, bit of a juggle there. Good take though. Great run as well. Nichols bringing it back. Blake with a scoot. Don't know what he's doing there. Bit upside down tango. Mitchy Large, good contact. Harry Wecker, man can tackle. And that's half time. Wearing a jersey on a 30 degree day was a terrible decision. Half time with the hoist up 4 0 still. 
Great contest. Sun's out. We're going to leave for half time, go get drinks, get abused by the supporters. Mainly Liam in that sense. BRB. This is the most stressful thing I've ever done in my life. Well, when I was trying to get his microphone to work, someone said when you order the cameraman from Wish, because the camera was still in this for like five minutes. So who knows? No negative. Um, a few people wanted me to zoom in, but Rick said he's like, you've got to I'm keep it as wide as possible. Then I'll then I'll chat. Pardon? We'll go to that chat. You know, no, no, in there. I think, I mean, he was really entertaining for me, so yeah. it's good, don't worry. We do feed off each other. Yeah, plus, <laughs> it's like quarter past one in the morning in Australia. I don't think we'll be able to. I think it's cold. Why the fuck is it? not. Is it the clubhouses or? No, no, no. It's all part of the. I'll see if the club has a sort of mic. I'm going to turn the power off that. Remind me to put the power back on for that later because it's on the battery. Yeah, I don't know where that came from. I mean, I'm sure it's just part of the kick and gravity. I've turned it off. Do you want me to turn it back on? Um, yeah, I'm just trying to test it out, and if it doesn't work, I'm going to see if they've got something. Let me put this back on. Yeah, while I was trying to turn this on, everyone's like, the fucking camera! And he's like, shut the fuck up. <laughs> so, put the towel on this side to internal, and I'll open up the screen. Oops, everyone can still hear me. Right. Do you want to talk? Because it is delayed. Test, test.
Hoist is kicking off now for the second half. It's Tommy Robinson running it back. Don't know where my uh, co-commentator's gone. He's run off. Maybe some extracurricular activities in the bathroom. It's Dom Stock. Allegations of a kick to the head here. Don't think the refs having any of it. Louis Robinson, good line speed there from Harry Wecker. He met him there with some force. Penalty here. Tough as nail, Louis there. Three blokes to bring him down. Jack Payne finds touch about 20 metres from the hoist try line. Tommy Robinson, he's had plenty of runs today. He's Dom Stock. Chris Watkins, more good defence there from the hoist. Here's Blake. They've had him, had him uh, wrapped up all day. You get lost on the way back up, mate. Yeah, mate, it was tough. To, they didn't have one of the kitty urinals. Ah. Yeah, so I had to, yeah, had to make do with the bucket. First and foremost, up the hoist. Oh. That's six again. Six again, back to the Warriors. Oh, is that Rusty Kellaway giving it the big ones? Russell Kellaway, by the way, let's talk about the genetics on that bloke, mate. Is he playing? He's playing, mate. He's old enough to be my granddad. Oh, mate, absolutely. But the bloke, if you asked him tomorrow to run a marathon, he'd do it. He'd run, he'd run a marathon. The same as uh, the Warriors, mate. The Warriors have got uh, Chris Williams out there in the green shirt. He's of similar stock. He's got to be about 70. He's still running out for the second grade team. Not making many tackles or many runs, but he's, he's there. It's uh, Charlie Beatty. Plenty of calls of get him on side. Here's Harry Wecker. Oh, good shot. Great shot. Oh. That's a tough call there against the Warriors. That was a great shot. Bit of a push and shove in the midfield there. I'll tell you what, Weck has copped a fair few shots as well. How much can a bloke handle? A few punches being thrown by, no, just a push and shove still. It's Blaze Lomax again in the middle of it. What do we got? Is that a Warriors hoist ball? 
Uh, I think that's a penalty to the hoist for a high shot from uh, Neil. I might be biased, but I thought that was a oh, I thought that was clean, mate. There's no might in your commentary, mate. You are 100 percent biased. <laughs> At least I don't play the game, so. and, and I don't apologise for it. A bit off track here. I just want to know your thoughts on this. Apparently, the number two of uh, Greg Lingard, okay, now ready for this, has prematurely organised a date for tomorrow night. Well, I hope win or lose for the hoys that Greg's rocking up to that date off no sleep, because that would be funny. Den definitely a kangaroo courtable offence, one would might say. Oh, 100%. Bit of an argument here between uh, Captain Chris Watkins and the ref. Oh, Neil Thorman's been given 10. That's a huge blow to the Waz. Controversial call. And the number four, Blaze Lomax, is being called over, and I dare say he'll be going for 10 as well. Bit of fisty cuffs, eh? Bit of an amicable discussion going on, and go over 10 as well. Yeah, that's Blaze Lozemax uh, getting sent off. If yeah, that is not the most rugby league name you've ever heard, I'm not here. Great player, though. Do you reckon his uncle will be proud of him right now? I'd say so, yes. So his, his uncle was a rugby league... Raiders, was it? Yeah, I believe. He's the glory days at the Raiders in the 90s, I think, mate. Not that I was born, but um, in a Wikipedia search, I'm we'll, uh, sure you'll find it. Up the milk. Shame about the loss. Speaking of, mate, the, uh, speaking of the Waz, obviously the Waz got up this morning. Did you watch the game? No, I didn't, mate. But uh, shout out to uh, Jake Ritchie, who's back at home from Newcastle, having a, probably having a terrible day. So shout out to you, Jake. <laughs> Go to Luke Morrissey. Out to Greg again. If only his date was here now, seeing him make these runs. David Cade. Straight out to Rusty. Oldest bloke on the field and still a manimal. You love to see it. Oh, sorry, Reese Dixon. Again, my vision coming in. I probably used to race for us confusing him for a 60 year old man. <laughs> Do you feel there's anyone deserving of Dick of the Day? Do you think it's the bikes who just got sent off? I mean, they'd be hard to go past, I would say. Shaky legs from the number five. Not sure who that is. Tom West, mate. Tom West. So he's not shaky on the dance floor, red back dance floor, mate. Tears that thing apart. Oh, it's going back. We've got six again. Six again for the hoist. Going through. Holds the ball well. Yeah, I think that was Strauss. Strasser. Strasser, sorry. My bad. Great D. You've noticed that between both sides here. The D's been absolutely fantastic. Good run. Out the back is Roberts. He's crafty, this bloke. The Wires really need to hold on here. He's going over to Condon. Held up well there. Last bloke you want to run into is Dom Stock, and he's just done that. He's uh, King. Wide ball. That's, that's, uh, that's Tavita Ruin over in the corner. 
and the hoist get up. Mate, the cure for erectile dysfunction in that play, that is absolutely unbelievable. <laughs> Mate. I'm sorry, mate, but I've never been more flaccid in my life after watching that. Mate, I do not need this tattoo on my ankle anymore. I tell you what, I'm cured. I'm absolutely cured. No, great play there from the hoist, though. Great vision. Spot the man out wide open. I hate to say it, but I do like to see Cronulla boy going over to score. I'm sure uh, Chris uh, Watkins is doing us uh, some inspirational words at the moment with the boys, rolling them up. Do you want to put a drink on if he's going to slot this or not? Can't afford it. <laughs> yeah. The Balkans did us good. <laughs> Straight from the sideline here. Here we got taking the kick. I think, yeah, it's Joe Roberts, I think. You said numbers on the front of that, dude. No, it makes things simpler, mate. I still wouldn't be able to see it, though. It's a good nudge. It's a great nudge. And he's missed it. <laughs> Plenty of power behind it, though. That's a, that's a no goal. 8-0? Eight, eight it's 8-0, I think. Eight nil. What are your thoughts on the thoughts on the thoughts? I need to get my words right here. Thoughts on the first five minutes of the game. Uh, the game's been going for forty-five minutes, mate. Um, <laughs> but the half. <laughs> but no, the hoist applying good pressure. Um, I think the, the wires just can't lose their heads here. It's all getting a bit emotional from both sides. Are we talking about on-field or off-field? Bit of both, mate. Pretty keen to get emotional later with the boys. That's for sure. Great shot. Great shot from the Warriors. Boys coming up to the 10. Tenton's flare in there. Takes it himself. Been some good shots in this game though, I'll tell you what. Yeah, mate, both teams are really, uh, really firing up for it, eh? I think we can't underestimate um, losing Pete Henshaw, our 5'8", quite early in the game. It's a big loss, but uh, Finn Langdale, he's done well. He's filling the boots quite well, mate. Jeez, you love gassing up the Warriors. Let's talk about the hoist more. <laughs> I'd rather not. I mean, I'd love to talk about it. <laughs> if only I knew the rules. <laughs> and the positions. <laughs> I'll yeah. tell you what, mate. They, they just, the, green, the, you know, the green and the gold, mate, just sets it on fire. I will admit, the Hills Hoist is probably the best name in rugby league. I don't think, between that and the, uh, for, what, the fourth spaceman, that's another great club. Uh, shout out to whoever came up with the Hills Hoist name. It's an absolute ripper. Do you know what they used to do, actually? They used to do, um, like, player cards. Right? Player cards for everyone. Um, you know, had little fun facts about them and, and all this sort of stuff. And the one I got told about is there was apparently like this old absolute legend. Um, and he's like, fun fact, was he, in London he'd been stabbed three times and survived. No way lie. Did you find 50 bucks in that story or...? Anyway, back to the game. Uh, sorry about Jimmy's terrible chat. It's a scrum here. Um, we weren't watching, so I don't know who's going. It's going to the wires, I think. The Wires fans are going absolutely ballistic here. Plenty of support. Is he going to stop? Oh, he stopped. <laughs> that was impressive. What's the point of the uh, scrum? Like, what? Like it doesn't really achieve anything, I feel. Uh, couldn't tell you, mate. Could not tell you. It's pain. Good. Oh, good shot. Chris Watkins in at dummy half. Good run. Great run. Go 
Here's Mitchy Large. A quiet assassin, mate. Been to uh, Copenhagen with Mitch. He's known to rip and tear quite hard. I'm pretty sure you said that was your worst trip you've been on. Maybe. <laughs> oh, drop ball there from Sammy Griffiths. Good day. They really sort of shoot themselves in the foot here a bit, the Waz. Who's the number 20 for the Waz, mate? He's a solid unit. Yeah, that's uh, Sammy Griffiths. He actually used to play for Chargers. I Hamill, I don't know, one of those other crap teams. Um, but he was a halfback, which is hard to believe because he's about 120 kegs. Well, at least you and him have got something to talk about. Thanks, mate. <laughs> Let's get past the head. <laughs> it's all in the head, mate. <laughs> Good run there from uh, Joel Strasser. He's got a bit about him, that kid. Uh, Tom West running it up. Oh, great shot from Mitch Large. He's still standing. Mate, he told me, I'll say it again, he told me he was going to fold some people and he's gone out and he's bloody done it. But the bloke was still standing. So did he fold him technically? Matter of opinion. <laughs> up the hoist. Up the was. Luke Morrissey. Out there to Kingy. Kingy known for literally having no technique when he's running, like a foal on ice, but he still just puts his body on the line. Which all you can do is really respect that. Nice step, nice kick. It's up at nice high ball. Covered by. Nice uh, Devin Wheatman out there on the wing. It's been solid today. Good run there, good contact. Is Blake. Oh. Yeah, that's a cheap penalty there from the hoist. Let's get the Waz out of trouble. What was that for? Uh, offside, I believe. Good yeah, great nudge from Jack Payne. His mullet has been flowing all day and it's getting me very excited. Who do you think? It's a battle of the hairlines between Rowan Napoli and um, Jack Payne, surely. Oh, they both got great heads of hair. Uh, but uh, yeah, I don't know, I might be biased, but uh, I think Jack, Jack Payne's mullet in its early stages, whereas Rowan's obviously been growing that thing since day dot. <laughs> There's that might again, might be biased. Riles have just gone out of the 10 there. A few hoists covering them. This is where the D comes in again. Great D from both teams. Literally getting intimidated just watching the game. Sammy Griffiths beats one. Oh, good run, Sammy. Six of them. Yeah, he's a big lad. At the back, that's gone to no one. Jack Payne picks it up. Dances around. Takes the tackle. Always looking for Bit directionless here. They need to uh, straighten up a bit, I think. Oh, great little kick. Uh, taken well there by uh, Joe Roberts. Still plenty of time left for the Waz. It's only 8-0. Mate, they're folding under pressure. The complexion, the talent, the hoist have got this for sure. Back in the boys. I'll see you at Belushi's later, mate. What's that? Sorry if the sorry if the uh, feed dropped out for a second. Just my functions there, but if there's any problems, just say it. But uh, we're looking good now. Who was that with the run? I didn't see. That was our big K Breen, mate. Good run there from Toby Condon. Oh, great tackle. Mitch Cairns Nelson of That's My Brother fame. 
Shout out to Mitch's brother, Big AC. Penalty there for the Hoys. Well, he's just tapped the ball there, and uh, I don't know what's happened. Oh, decoy. Here's Rowan Napoli with a hit up. Oh, mate. Coming in the game with a calf injury. Not showing. Ooh. Oh! That's a hoist yes! try. It's a hoist try to uh, James King. Two wires have run into each other, and uh, that's a great try. Good run. Absolutely fantastic run. Me and Liam are stoked. Absolutely fantastic. I am not stoked. <laughs> was that Kingy? Kingy winning it through too. Well, by a bit of a head clash, but absolutely fantastic. The uh, Hoist fans have been chirping all day in front of us. They've got about three things I've been saying all, say, all day. Get them on side. The Waz are dogs and something else. None of them are funny. but uh... Well, three bits of chat, three tries to nil. Let's see. How that, the mass works out, I think. I don't know, mate. You're the teacher. <laughs> mate, always ready to teach a lesson. Unfortunately, this is not my repertoire, uh, rugby league. In my repertoire, sorry. Still plenty of time, mate. Plenty of time. How long we got left in the second half? 20 minutes. Oceans of time. Oh, mate. An absolute plethora of time. A smorgasbord, if you will. Smorgasbord. <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't move for time. He's 0 from 2 at the moment. Let's see if he can kick this one. Jay Roberts here with the kick. Nah, it's Tom West. Sorry, I've sorry, just sent back a shirt. Tom West. Two, min two working meniscus. Hopefully, uh, hopefully he'll be able to put it over. He's got it. That'll be 14 nil to the Hoys. Paul Quill, mate. Kind of a Warriors mascot. He's Kay Breen. Bit of a... Oh, mate. He's a weapon. Wires have got to stick to their guns here. Here goes Rowan. Only a few tackles here, fourth tackle. There. Oh, no. Rowan Napoli's lost it. Jack Payne's picked it up. Got to change over there. Are we give a man down. Is that Jack Payne down? Oh, no. I mean, I tell you what, the viewers back home, I mean, it couldn't happen to a nicer bloke. Absolute weapon. And I'm a Hoist fan saying that, so that's, uh, there's credibility behind it. But, oh, he's got up, mate. It, it, it make, it, I feel a mask just watching because I think... We're the same weight, and he's he's sitting out there folding blokes that size. It makes me question my life choices, and my, my dad would probably be disappointed. Yeah, I can confirm uh, that your dad is disappointed. He told me that. <laughs> oh, he did? Oh, it was a mistake. <laughs> he told me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he told me if I could just when he was over. Uh, scrum right at the middle of the field here for the, uh, for the Waz. Go on, Rick. Oh no, excuse me, it's on the 40. Well, that makes sense, because 100 metres and that's the 50. Uh... <laughs> Jimmy's just realised that 50 is half of 100. Um... <laughs> You've just got to stay one step ahead of the kid. What's going on here? Chris Williams is putting his two cents in with the ref. Probably boring him to sleep with his chat. He's our trainer, mate. Oh, 
Here goes Blake off to Tommy. Oh. Good shot. Good D there. And that was uh, Charlie Beatty. He goes Blake again. He's been kept quiet today, Blake. It's definitely a uh, definitely a weapon. Their, that was their plan, fucking. I think at the start. Let's be honest. You guys had no plan. He goes Louis Robinson. Good short ball. Good run. In behind the rock. Great run. Oh, I don't know how to pronounce it. And he's lost the ball. Got that hoist fever. Lost the ball. What are we on there? On the 20. Going over a scrum there. Absolutely fantastic to see. It definitely came in with a plan here. I think they've shut down a few players as well, the hoist. It's been absolutely fantastic. This is me speaking from all my rugby league experience for you viewers back home. But from an outside perspective, it's been a great game. It's been a great game. I'm very happy at the moment. Thoughts? Uh, I'm not happy. Good run there from Rick. Me and Rick almost got in a blue once because he grabbed me on the nuts during the game. We had a beer afterwards and now we're great mates. <laughs> James King with the run there, actually. The only Englishman in the club, funnily enough. Which can't be said for the Wiles, I believe. I believe you've got a pretty uh, high prevalence of English players. Yeah, we've got a, um, a bunch of uh, rugby union converts that have come over and... and uh, Seen the light side, come over from the dark side from rugby. And they're, they're, they're loving it, mate. Loving it. Look, probably about uh, five or six poms scattered in the team at the moment. Very high percentage there. Very high percentage. I mean, that was a penalty. But... Apparently, that was a penalty, but you know, that's all about board in my books. Yes, Rick Caliguri takes him to ground, the hornet's nest. Second oldest player on the team, Rick. Oh, oh my God. God, what an absolute shot. That? That's Greg again. Greg Lingard, mate, he has put in some absolute hits to the number 12. Why he's organised a date tomorrow, I do not know, because there is not a chance he's going to it. What an absolute shot. I would be dead. Mate, if that bird doesn't fall in love with him at first sight, I am not here. That was a great shot. A couple of high-voiced uh, hoist fans yelling from the sideline, sounding like 12-year-old girls. Are you okay then? Ask me at full time. <laughs> no, just... Uh, <laughs> no, you can't say that. The SCL will be upset. Down here in Hamill. Two, two West London teams playing down in Hamill. Uh, uh, it's exa oh, we got a bit of a push and shove here. Tensions are flaring, tensions are flaring. Oh, defused beautifully. I mean, you love to see the maturity from the lads. That's exactly what we're talking about here. I might have had six beers and be looking into the sun, but there was nothing in that. Absolutely nothing. Oh, Joshy Walls are uh, getting called out here. Oh, this, is, this does not look good for, uh, for Josh. He's uh, escaped with a warning there, Joshy. Very lucky, I think, maybe. How many beers left? Yeah, mate, there's a beer over here. Yeah, we got actually three up here. Yeah, I'm drinking pretty slow, to be fair. Oh, I was fixated on the game. Going down there a couple of metres there, it's over the roof, and I think it'll be going into the car park. Oh, no, I've absolutely lied. Currently getting a... Phone call from Dane O'Hare. Why in the blue blazes would I want to add to that? But I will. Maybe more will do a blaze, takes the run up there on the wing. You love to see it. 
Good attacking position here. Here goes uh, Rowan Napoli. Yeah. <laughs> Jimmy's just taking a phone call from our uh, hoist legend, Dan O'Hare. <laughs> right, we are. I have given you a shout-out, man. I said you were the worst wrestler in the world, but I bet you <laughs> He's also asking for a shout-out. Good D there from the uh, Warriors, forcing a mistake. We give a shout out to uh, the hoist uh, rugby. I would call him an immortal. Uh, he's six foot six, a pure cowardice. But Dane O'Hare for the Wulgulga Seahorses. I was preferably in a Rara Valley Tomahawks fan myself. All right, but I understand the Seahorses actually won it. All right, any more shout outs? Just put them on the stream. We're happy to go. I'll send you my BSB and account number, and uh, all above board. A few uh, impatient Wiles fans there. There goes Jack Payne. Neil Thorman, to so Mitchie Large. He's been going all day, Mitchie Large. He's got the heart of a lion, that bloke. Here goes Louis. Good run. And there's, uh, I think that might have been a shoulder charge. Oh, Louis wants some. He's up for it. Fine, Rowan's the one will do it. How much long have we got? How long is half time? Ah, no, no idea, mate. Are we getting close? Oh, no, it started at 3.30. Yeah, so 4.10. We've still got, yeah, what, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, 3 minutes. Here's Tommy Robinson. Really need to score off this set, the Waz. Good tackle there from Rowan. Bootlace is stuff. Here goes Finn. Got the bat to Blake. Good run from Blake. There you go, wrap him up. Little knock on in the plate of ball there. Letting the uh, letting the hoist off the hook. Um, if anyone's hanging out with Dane, can you please tell him to stop calling us? That'd be great, thank you. Apparently. Always bring out their own end through King, I believe. Good solid run there. What's that place name? The guy that's been folding people? 12? Greg, Ling uh, Greg Lingard. Greg Lingard. That is a name from the past, but it was an 80s name if ever I've heard one. Mate, his technique is actually crinkle cut. Crinkle cut. He's got a bit of a uh, Liam Martin about him, I reckon. Liam Martin about us, fair enough, yeah. Yeah. Luke Morrissey with a step, he was going to go for the kick and he sent it down there. Still in place, still in play, and it's gone out there, it's unfortunate. The Waz fans. Oh. I think you'll find he was actually looking for the sideline there, Jimmy. Um, is he? I think so, mate, yeah. <laughs> so the Waz will be uh, working it out from their own end. Good run there from Blake. Ooh. Go on back. Play on there, here goes Blake Nahu. He's dangerous in open space. He's brought down by the fullback, Joel Strasser. Way to Finn, off to Jack Payne. Here's Tommy Robinson out wide, Mitchy Large. Good D there. The Hoy's defence, I will admit, has been bloody strong today. Oh, Tavita Ruin taps that one down. 
Yeah, the day's been good. Oh, we got some cramping in the backfield. Wilds fans starting to seem a bit uh, quieter. Hopefully they're not too salty about the score. Much like the proverbial salt and, uh, salt and vinegar chips, mate. Brought to you by Smiths. I mean, when you've won two grand finals in a row, mate, you're not going to get too upset about losing another one. You know, you'll be fine. We've dominated this league for a few years now, um, you know. It's been a good couple of years, you know. Maybe time to have a changing of the guard, but still plenty of time to go, mate. Plenty of time to go. I'm pretty sure that was the, the hoist mentality when they won the three-peat. Captain under the, uh, the immortal Nathan Mann uh, and a few others in there. Is that the same mentality? Yeah, well, I mean, in 2019, they got us on a bad day when half our team was on holidays. That is a great run. He's just bounced that bloke. As a penalty to the Wires, the Wires are fired up. Everyone's fired up. Crowd's fired up. Quick tap there from Finn Langdale. He's caught Kate offside. It's a good tackle there from uh, Greg Lingard. Another penalty. There's a hoist player down. No one's touched him. I think that's a bit of time wasting if you ask me. Refs having none of it. Refs having absolutely none of it. He goes Dan Munt. Uh, he's gone straight over the sideline. Straight over the sideline there. Great performance. The hoists are really celebrating like they've won this year. Not much time left on the clock. The Warriors really needed to score there. We've got a player with an ankle injury. I'm not too sure what he's done here. Not too sure. Who is that? Who we got? What number is that, mate? Anyone uh, know some of the worst for spec savers? If they, could, uh, <laughs> if they could send some glasses out for uh, Jimmy Mack, that would be great. Here's Beatty working it out, out of the uh, hoist zone end. What? Harry Wecker, he's been going all day. Oh. Yes, I got it. Yeah, I'll, what? Wingard, good run. Good tackle there from uh, Jack Payne. Who in the blower do? Dane again. Fuck it, is it again? Again. Is he asking for another shout out? How many does he want? Can't get another shout -out. You realise he's not playing. He had his time in the sun, mate. <laughs> I'm pretty sure he kept you out of the fullback position, didn't he? I've never played fullback in my life, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta be out of cash to play fullback. Isn't the fullback where you're sitting on the bench for most of the game? <laughs> yeah, mate. Good run there from uh, Tommy. Offside there, the uh, the hoist. Maybe we're holding it too far away. Yeah. Good little nudge there from Jack Payne over the sideline, another 10 metres or so. I'll tell you, it'd be a big win for the hoist if they can keep the wires to nil um, with our attacking prowess that we do possess. Good run there from Louis. Oh, good offload. Bit of second phase play. Here goes Jack Payne. Good stuff. Oh, Mitchie Large goes without it. Forcing the pass there, but I like what the wires are doing. They need to pull something out of the hat. Yeah, quick bit of knock-on there. I think the Warriors have completed uh, too many sets. It's been unfortunate, but it's still a fantastic game. I don't feel, I don't think the scoreline really... Oh, maybe in the second half here, but it's been... Um, it's still been a fucking unreal game. 
and Dana here calling me again. Can you leave me alone? And we've just gone about 72 minutes and just said our first swear word. So we were quite worried about how many swear words we're going to put into this, uh, in this broadcast. And we've just had our first one 72 minutes in. So that's, I'm pretty proud of that. I think there's got to be a punishment for that, surely. I thought you were going to break before I broke. Mate, I thought I was going to break 72 seconds in. But... <laughs> Pretty keen to uh, leave the ground as soon as this game's over because uh, if I see the hoist celebrating, I may cry. Here's Lingard. Beatty, he spun out a one. He's away, he's got some space. And Jack Payne with a great cover tackle. Oh. He's put him in a touch. Mate, Jack Payne, I tell you what, he never stops trying. That was a great tackle. Is Dan Munt. Good run. Is it Munt my name? Munt my uh, he's a bit of a quiet one, uh, Dan Munt. Doesn't say much, but he's a good lad. He's very fast, mate. Very fast. Is Joshy Wall. Oh, good offload. Off to Watto. Great offload from Joshy. Is Jack Payne out the back oh. to Blake. Bit of space out here. Here goes Blake Nahu. He's in open space. Here he goes. Oh, great tackle. Oh, he's offloaded it. Devin Wheatman. That was a great tackle from uh, Joel Strasser at fullback. Then a quick play the ball here. Bit of milk in there from the hoist. Here goes Tommy Robinson. Jack Payne. Oh, how's that footwork, mate? Joshy Wall. Out to Finn. Oh, at the back. It's missed everyone. It's gone to Dan Munt. The fence has been unreal, man. It's Finn of the Sammy Griffiths. Oh, good run. Boonsa. Oh, long ball out to uh, Nichols. The only ginger on the field today, I believe. Yes, it's Thorman. Good little nudge. Oh, Chuck Payne. Oh. oh, was he taking it in the air there? I think he was. And I thought I had the bad eyesight, mate. That was all above board. That was absolutely all above board. Mate, the defence from the hoist, you know, same in the Waz, great defence and stuff. Got unlucky with the third try a bit with those two players. But, mate, defence from the hoist has been absolutely phenomenal, especially with that set. Some great challenges getting about. Let's see what we can do in the last 10 minutes. Whoever's yelling lift, can you please shut up? <laughs> yeah, the commentator's also yelling lift here to the hoist. I feel like they've lifted quite a lot. <laughs> no comment. <laughs> Been fantastic there. Is that Cade with another one? Nice kick there from uh, Luke Morrissey, I believe. Straight down to the fullback. Blake, was it? Yeah, Blake Nahu. Blake Nahu. All right, great step on the bloke too. Oh, he's got some footwork. With those, those, signature, with those signature pink boots, he's running up the sideline. Those pink boots are doing a lot for him. He's mate. been wrapped up at the 40. Okay, we got a penalty there for the wires. He goes Jack. He's taking the tap. Out to Neil Thorman. Out the back, we've got Finn Langdale. Oh, wow. Finn's uh, been asked to play big minutes off the bench today. He's done well. He goes Sammy Griffiths. Taken by Rowan. He goes Louis in behind the ruck. Good run. Good tackle from Cade. Oh, 
another mistake there from the Waz, forcing their passes a bit, but I mean, I, I think they've got to try their luck, so I'm not too upset about that one. Shout out to Dave Katunga as well. Uh, probably one of the worst hoist players of all time, but uh, <laughs> appreciate your messages, Dave. Good to see you still going over there in Oz. We got hoist coming up. We're sitting at the 50. Not sure how many tackles in. I can't see even the numbers on the jersey, so I don't be able to see the ref's fingers. Going straight through. The oh, bit of a heel kick there to the number 12. From the number 10 of the Waz. We've got a Waz player down. Two of them. It's Chris Watkins and uh, Sammy Griffiths. Oh, Chris yeah. Watkins and Sammy Griffiths. There might have been a head clash. Physio's coming in. The horse is starting to celebrate, giving the hugs out. It's been a phenomenal performance. It's been actually a quality game. It's a whole amount. It's been absolutely fantastic. I'll be seeing everyone at Belushi's Hammersmith later. And then uh, I'm sure my house will be burnt to the ground later in the night as well. It should be unfortunate, but that's cricket. And hopefully with you in it, mate. <laughs> the hoist goes that uh, Morrissey. Kick charge down. That's six again. Way to Tom West. Unders to uh, Blaze Lomax. It's a mistake there. Joel Holmes on the sideline with a lot of chat, as per, as per usual. Not all of it good. What do, you think, what do you think the quota is for when you say someone's got good chat? Like if they hit 70% of their marks or like 60%, what would you say? Well, as a bloke with no chat, I don't, I don't really know. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, 70%. Obviously, some are going to die, but if you throw enough mud, something's going to stick. Yeah. Um, anyway, here's Jack Payne with a kick. Uh, that's well covered there from the hoist. Good chase, though. Blake's chasing hard. Yeah, he's covered there, Joel Strasser. Must be getting close to full time here. Wise boys, few of them are struggling there to get back to the line. Same as the hoist, to be honest. It's a bit of a hard game. It's Rowan Napoli. I'll tell you what, I can't wait to be even blinder tonight. I've sunk about 10 pints with the boys. Cade coming up there, keeping that number 10 jersey probably for the next year or so, mate, locking it down. We've got two more Warriors players down. Same two, I believe. Is that the same two? Yeah, it's, uh, it's Watto, mate. He's been out on his feet all day. He's an absolute warrior. Pardon the pun. But, uh, yeah, he's an inspirational leader, Chris Watkins. Boys fans starting to celebrate. It is breaking my heart, but good on him. Kay Breen with a lot of chat here, the wire supporters. Um, definitely not ex uh, unexpected. That's full time. The hoist of the winners. <laughs> and the hoist have brought it home. Mate, awesome stuff. Oh my God, I'm actually that happy. I actually don't care about this game one bit, but I'm absolutely stoked with these boys, mate. Past couple of seasons, been tough with COVID, mate, but they're absolutely, absolutely raided in. We're just pissed tonight. Full credit, though, to the Warriors, mate. Absolute stints. A few, uh, few unfortunate ones there. A few boys down uh, during play. I know Sammy Griffiths and Chris Watkins put in a hell of a shift, but it's absolutely fantastic to see, and I'm absolutely stoked for the boys, mate. Yeah, congratulations to the Hoys, to the Wilds fans. Unlucky, but, I mean, we can't win them all, can we? Um, 
We'll be back next year, bigger and better. Be sure to send the boys plenty of messages of support. I'm sure they'll be feeling down tonight, but we'll be back to the ASCU getting absolutely loose. So don't worry about us, mate. If you need postcodes for kick-ons in the pub, make sure you uh, message the pages. I'm sure the boys will facilitate your every needs. To everyone back home who's been watching, it's been absolutely unreal. Um, you know, all the old Illuminati, good, good to um, get you amongst it. Shout out to Weckers, mates, who have just been, you know, put in the chat and everything like that. It's great to see you guys. And uh, we'll see you next year for the Win the Hoist Win. This is Tiny Tits TV. Adios. <laughs> <laughs>